Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mott's Cage Radio. Going to take it out to Bakersfield, California. Talk to a fighter who will be making his way to the San Joaquin Valley, uh, in particular, 559 Fights this Saturday night. My man, Kung Fu Sam himself, Sammy Montiel. Sammy, welcome to the show, my man. How the hell are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? I am doing good, my man. Now, uh, take me through it. Where currently are you training? Right now, I'm, cu- I'm currently training. Uh, I was training with BBJJ. Now I'm uh, training with Bullet, uh, Robert Breslin. We're training in my garage. We're setting up everything, you know, as like a real gym. Nice. And everything's going pretty good at the moment. Nice. My man, Bullet. Shout out to Bullet. Definitely a good dude. Uh, so I can tell you're in good hands. So obviously he's not teaching you any stand up. I mean he could, but uh, Bullet is a master of the ground game. Is that basically what you're doing, or is he teaching you stand up? Yes, yes. I'm working on my ground. I uh, I'm working on my ground and my stand up as well. Not exactly with Bullet, but I'm working on my stand up as well. Okay, so uh, take me through it. Uh, how long have you been training in total? Uh, I've been training. Uh, I was eight years old. I started out with uh, Dan Camarillo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, kind of, what is the game plan? What is your current? Uh, what is your current record? My current record, unfortunately, is zero and two. Okay, so you're zero and two. Uh, I mean, it's a learning experience, amateur. It doesn't matter. It's not costing you any money yet. Uh, kind of, yeah. what is your game plan? How many amateur fights do you see yourself uh, having, or how long will you fight amateurs before you turn pro, or is this just something to do? Uh, no, I feel like going pro maybe uh, maybe middle of next year. Uh, I want to get a couple more fights in me, uh, fight you know some top contenders, you know, at one forty-five to catch myself here at uh, in the division. Okay, so you're a forty-five, or what do you walk around at? How much of a cut is this? I walk around usually around uh, 160, maybe 165 on a good day. Okay. Normally, we uh, in the amateur game, we have the weigh-ins the same day. This one's actually going to be the day before because of the fair. Is, are there any advantages or disadvantages to something like that? To be honest, I'm actually loving uh, the fact that it's a uh, day before weigh-ins. I get to eat a lot more. I get to come in a lot more heavier than like last time when I fought uh, Cameron Ramirez and... Uh, uh, five five nine five three. Okay, uh, that one was a was a close one, I believe. Our ring announcer announced you the winner, and then they ripped that thing out from underneath oh. you. Isn't that what happened? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what happened. That bastard Joey. Anyway, uh, you're coming down to the five five nine. You've been training hard with my man Bullet. Uh, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, what I know about my opponent. Um yeah, I just actually got this new opponent uh, on Friday, uh, Alex Valencia from Team KO. I know he's a striker. Um, my buddy, actually, uh, from uh, Big Strong Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, CJ Yako, actually ended up knocking him out in eight seconds back in July. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, so uh, I'm hoping um, lightning strikes life. Okay, so you're going to try to do it in seven seconds? Do you think it'll take you more like nine seconds? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, okay, my man. Uh, you're coming in. Uh, w- where do you expect this fight to uh, to go? Are you planning on taking it to the ground and showing us what you've learned on the ground, or you just let the fight go wherever the fight takes you? I'm going to let the fight go wherever it takes me. I mean, every fight starts standing, and uh, standing up is where I feel a lot comfortable. Okay, now take me through it. Where did you get the name Kung Fu Sam? Uh, it's actually funny. Uh, when I was uh, in high school, I did a, a lot of uh, a lot of free, uh, street fights. And uh, when I would fake it, uh, fake an attack, fake like I'm going to hit somebody, I would do a Bruce Lee kind of style. And a lot of people just started calling me Kung Fu Sam, and it stuck. I actually didn't like it at first, but now I just love the name. I, it actually goes great with me. All right, fantastic. Well, we're definitely looking forward to uh, to seeing you in the cage this Saturday at the uh, Tulare Fair. Anybody you want to shout out before I let you go today, my man? Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to all of my training partners, you know, at Ironman Mike, you know, Daniel, uh, uh, David Mendoza, who's also on the card, uh, uh, Ernesto, who's also on the card on 55955. Five, five, five. Um, 
my whole family, you know, everybody who's been training with me lately. I just wanted to give you guys a shout-out to you guys. Thank you. I appreciate all the help you guys have been giving me. All right, there you have it. We'll see you at the weigh-ins. My man, Kung Fu Sam, uh, rolls into the valley. Check him out at VK VQ Fitness on Friday night for the weigh-ins, and definitely come out and check him out in action on Saturday, September 15th. Sam, we appreciate you joining with us today, and I'll talk to you soon, my man. Thanks again. All right, bro. All right, bro. Take care. Out.